So first of all, the, the, the team that's looking after the young person will say to them, we have a clinical trial that may be suitable for you in, with your type of cancer. The, the doctors and the research team will then give you a, a lot of written information to go away and consider. And that written information will tell you all about the, the treatment that's being uh, trialed, uh, what it involves for you in terms of the visits that you have to have to hospital, uh, uh, any scans or blood tests, uh, and what we hope the trial is going to achieve. And you will have that to read and you take your time to read it. There's certainly no compulsion to sign. It's completely voluntary. Now, if you decide to, that you wish to take part in the trial, then you have to sign a consent form and a various number of tests will be done and, and you can then participate in the trial. Now, if you take away that information, you read it and you think it's not for you, that's absolutely fine. There will still be alternative treatments available for you, usually the standard of care treatments that the hospital or the treating team have, then they will treat you according to that. And whether you take part or you don't take part in the trial doesn't affect at all how your treating team will manage you. You'll still get the, the best available care.